To subscribe to webhooks, begin by selecting the Integrations menu in the dashboard, and then select the Webhooks tab. Your first webhook has already been created for you, and it just needs configuration, so click Add Webhook URL. In the URL field, enter the URL for your script to which you want the webhook data to be posted. You could optionally enter a secret value that could be used for extra security, but we'll skip that step for this video. Now, select the checkbox next to each of the webhook events to which you want to subscribe. For example, to receive a post when an order is completed, select order.completed. When you're finished, scroll down and click Add. You can also configure optional browser scripts to trigger custom client-side code, such as JavaScript, when an order is completed. If you click Edit, you can optionally enter a title for the webhook. You can also click the drop-down in the second field to choose whether you'll receive posts for live orders, test orders, or both. If you're new to webhooks, we recommend that you leave the default value, live and test orders, selected so you can generate test transactions to test the webhook event posting. The Enable Webhook Expansion checkbox lets you control the amount of detail included for things like accounts and products in the payload of your webhook posts. Click Save to save any changes. Clicking Recent Activity will allow you to view a list of all recent webhook events that have been fired, with their dates and times indicated in UTC. The name of each event is shown on the right-hand side, and you can copy the entire JSON payload for an event right from this modal window if need be.